The State College Area High School project moving right along, and the school boards approved a preliminary budget and a tax increase. The proposed preliminary 2015-16 budget calls for a 6.1% tax increase. Aaron Calandra is live in State College with more on this. Aaron. Marty Jen, voters overwhelmingly support this high school referendum with a vote last May. And now a breakdown of those finances is coming out. Now we have to really put our money where our mouth is. But I really am proud of our community wanting to maintain the quality education that we have had. State College area taxpayers overwhelmingly support the $85 million high school referendum, passing it with flying colors last May. And now we're seeing the breakdown in the budget. The State College area school district's proposed preliminary budget calls for a 6.1% increase, nearly 2% going towards a state mandated Act 1 index. The rest funds the referendum. The board voted to approve the preliminary budget in a an eight to one vote during a special meeting Monday night. The breakdown is about $175 for the average taxpayer per year based on an assessed property value of nearly $72,000, according to a district spokesperson. But a local real estate expert says using the assessed value may be a little low for the area. This is a little bit misleading to think that it's a $71,000 house. Really, the assessed value, is, the market value on the 71 would be double that. Not everyone in the community voted for the referendum, and now they're concerned with the proposed tax hike. Especially seniors, um, you know, uh, that no longer have children in the uh, school system and are on fixed incomes, uh, this can be... Uh, uh, have a significant impact on them. Mayor Elizabeth Gorham agrees, but hopes the school district has taken that into consideration. It's going to be a stretch for some people. I have every confidence that the school board, if they can somehow address people on modest or fixed income, can somehow give them some relief that they will do that. Now, this is expected to be a long process with a total of four votes before anything is final. Right now, the public has 20 days to comment on this budget, and the next vote is scheduled for February 9th. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, hear how local real estate agents say this tax hike could affect the local housing market. Live in State College, Erin Calandra, 6 News.